Hey folks, AJ here, and guess what? We're here at Abundant Life Church of Christ where we're getting ready to do the install. As you saw, we got the lift here. Mainly want to knock out all of the lift stuff so I can actually return it early. Mainly, that's just going to be to go up in the air to run the new SDI cables all the way to the back. We brought all the systems in. I need to find a location of where each camera is going to go. There's already a run for this front camera and the back one. Um, no, we just get to it. I think the sound stuff I'm going to try and do tomorrow because that's why I'm going to have my friend Spencer come here because he wants to learn about the stuff. So might as well have an environment for him to play around with. But the main thing is to get the lift done. So we ain't got to worry about that because I also got some TVs I got to install over at Signs and Wonders. So let's get this done. All right. So what we need to do, there's a drop ceiling right here. The camera is on the other side of here. So I'm trying to see where the cables are. how I can get up here. Alright, so as you can see, I'm assuming that's what these cables are. And I may be able to repurpose these for at least a network connection if they're already going back. So I need to get some mat um, metal tapping screws to go into here. Alright. So let's come on the other side and see how we can dismantle the front camera. All right, so we got the camera down. It's three. I think these are Cat 6. I hope these are Cat 6, but either way, it doesn't really matter because we're just using it for power and control for the new cameras. I'm going to cut one of these, use it for the pull string, pull the SDI cable for this camera to go all the way back. This and the two sides are the longest runs. Um, I see them up in the ceiling. I just need to see where they marry off. So I'm gonna snip one of them and then put some RG6 there and pull it all the way back. All right, folks, we're here in the media area right now. I'm taking a break from having to go up in the ceiling. All of these are now gonna be migrated over to this and that's gonna slide up under here somewhere to give some, some more space here on the table. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, I'm just realizing these are for those cameras so i don't need these i don't need these two at all hmm huh, interesting all right folks let me give you a sneak peek of what we did here's all the cables that originally were there that i've gotten rid of um we got the atem connected actually what we're going to do is i'm going to order a, a 4u or a 6u rack and actually put it up on the wall here so that you just have to hit this on switch and I will turn everything on but we're going to configure everything I also need an SDI to HDMI converter so that we can connect to the ORI that's already that they already had that goes to the other TVs um, I just finished configuring this back camera and the joystick and everything like that I ended up configuring all other four right now so once we have everything connected we'll be able to do it I'm going to work on the back camera because that's the easiest one right now and we just configured it and then we go from there. Alright so I didn't have <laughs> this on while I was doing this but finished driving this all the way down and as you can see we got the cable right there. I pulled way more than I needed so um, I'm going to pull up all the slack here and then route it down into the media room but I'm going to go back up and zip tie the extra loop up here now the beauty of this since it's a black cable you really can't see my cable hanging like that but what I'm gonna do is zip tie it up as close as possible um, to get through there so it can't be seen um, I might try and get my ladder to see how high up I can get I don't think I can get high enough to get to that but what we're gonna do is try and slide up as much as possible and pull it to where it's not really that seeable but it's no different than the cables right there so let's get this up get it connected and we go because we we use the existing power cable so the camera is already on there and that is the new camera um, I just need to terminate the feed make sure it's connected and then configure it and make sure it works inside of the ATEM so yay all right so we ran another Ethernet cable over 
here, dropped it down. I'm gonna I'm clean this stuff up in here. But we got the cable dropped and I have it connected. Now I just gotta terminate the other side. Make sure we get an image here because it's using the existing SDI cable that they were using, which works perfectly fine with their original camera. We're just repurposing it. So yay, don't have to run another cable. Um, but I realized that I have to go run another cable on the exact opposite side of what I did in the front. I should have ran both at the same time. But um, the other cable is for the um, the snake. So I gotta do that anyway, but it'd probably be better to do it on the other side, but um, I gotta do that. But let's knock this out, make sure we get this camera working. Then we move to the back, which should be pretty simple. The other side one, um, where I'm gonna run the cable, well that cable can actually run on the floor. Um, yeah, I just gotta get um, the snake cable and go from there. Alrighty, the left one is working. Now to move to the back. And then the front one does work, I just need to find the path to drop it down in here somewhere now notice the difference between these two <laughs> the original to new and this still required an external box to um, convert it over so significant change all right folks so we got the cable tested um issue is those are steel studs so i need some self-tapping screws right there as well so that's why I'm not going to try and mount that one. I'll leave the lift here because they're going to change some of the lights as well. But what I'm going to do is move this over there tomorrow to run the snake. And I was going to forget why I came up here for. <laughs> I need to get some more DNC connectors so I can fix this, at least run the cable for that camera. All right, folks, I think a very productive day I'm actually <laughs> spent, but let's show you what we got so far. All right, we got the ATEM Television Studio HD connected. We do have it fed out just to see what's going on. I have the computer that's playing some live video some, from somebody's YouTube channel. Um, got the back camera, not mounted, but it is connected, uh, which is right there. We have the front camera. We got the left camera and then the right camera is what we're going to do tomorrow as well as run the snake and then start hooking it up to the sound got the controller got the networking i got some stuff to get we're going to take down those strips put a strip across the bottom for a power strip and all that other fun stuff so we will be back tomorrow to continue some work go back up in the lift on the opposite side run the snake and hopefully we can get some sound through the sound system um, and then most likely wednesday um, try and um, dial in the audio and make sure we configure it and all that other stuff so y'all like this type of content y'all know this typical stuff we do i'm tired <laughs> so we'll catch y'all oh link is down below to everything that we used here um let me know if y'all have any other questions thank you patreon supporters and youtube members really appreciate all the um support that y'all give to allow me to do stuff like this so uh if you well, i know i said i wasn't going to do it but if you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will catch you on the next video later.